she said, What good would a woman's blood be for the land? No good at all. It takes a man. Indeed, yes. You understand me, then? Study of religions is one of my many interests. I am a reading man, you know. Known for it. The goddess of fertility in the old legends was in some ways like yourself, Miss Palmer. Not a married lady, but nevertheless, if you'll excuse the freedom, not a virgin either. In the autumn, she would couple with the young king. King? He'd be treated like a king. He served and pampered, you might say. And then, of course... Killed. He would pass away, yes. Assisted to it, you might say. And from his blood, the crops would spring. A great legend, Mr. Fisher. And Egyptian, Mexican, many places. You must read a book by Sir James Fraser, The Golden Bough, in seven volumes. But not an English legend. Robin Hood, Robin of the Dale, even Robin Redbreast, under the very birds in your garden. The male Robin only lives a year, you know. The female has many partners. Always Robin. Such bounty there was, such fruitfulness, Miss Palmer, from the blood that drained from Robin Hood, so the old stories say. But they are only stories, of course. And if that's all one has to say to the police, how very foolish they would think one. 